Hey folks, it's time for another vlog, and I'm doing this one a little bit early because today, or later this evening, I'm going to go back to Game City, and I tomorrow will probably do another vlog, just telling you about my evening, maybe, but um, and and to do the whole Patreon thing as well as showing you some awesome video I captured of people playing the Vive. No footage of me, but. I mean, I, I did play it, and it was awesome. There's a game at Game City. I just kind of dived straight into this one. I guess there are other things I want to tell you, but I'll tell you about the Vive. I've had a really good time at Game City, by the way. Um, the Vive is is very cool. Um, it's not like mind-blowing video game future time. I am in video games, and if I video game in real life, then I die in... Wait, no, that's not it. If I video game in the game, I die in real life, or whatever it is. Um, uh, <laughs> oh dear, I'm getting a bit overexcited, because I did have an amazing time. Uh, how are you, by the way? Hopefully you're fine. Um... But the Vive is really cool because not only do you get to put the video game on your face, you get to move about in the real world and pretend as if you were uh, in a video game. And it makes it really easy to, pre to pretend. You know, when you're on the playground and you're like, this thing is a bazooka and it's just a big stick. No, it's actually a big bazooka and you get to do things with your hands and... I think it's going to be... I just spat there, sorry. That's gross. Uh, I think it's going to be cool for some people, not for everyone. It's going to be very niche, and it's going to be one of those things where you go to... Like, you know when you go to Laser Quest, and you're like, oh, Laser Quest is like a perfect party thing. Let's go do that for my birthday. And... Um, you're going to go and find some friends and have a Vive party or something. That, that'll that be what it is. It'll take the place. It's Laser Quest for the future. That's what it is. Or I've got some spare time and I'm in the city. I'll go to the Vive place. Uh, I don't know. That's That seems what it is, what it's going to be like to me, because it needs quite a chunk of space for free of tables and coffee mugs for you to trip over so uh and like extra cameras on like the corners of the room i'm doing i'm rotating around my head here because that's quite they don't rotate but they do look at your head they're like oh i see you i see you where you are and i can place you in the video game um and that's how vive works and back to like lower tech video games another thing i did which was a ton of fun. I played a couple of rounds of a board game. Well, not a board game. Um, a real life card and people game. There we go. That's what they should be called. Real life card and people game called Two Rooms in a Boom, in which one per like everyone gets a card and that is their role which they have to play. And each person has specific win conditions. So. There is a president on Team Blue and a bomber on Team Red. And you have to, between the two rooms, you have to swap hostages, uh, like three, then two in rounds, and then one, and then finally you swap your final hostage, and then the bomb goes off or doesn't go off, depending on how you played the game. And the bomber and the president for the red team to win have to be in the same room. And for the blue team to win, you have to make sure that the president doesn't get blown up. And it is so much fun because no one knows who anyone else is. And you are allowed to either share what team you're on by, you know, showing... Because I, I always had it in my top pocket. I've got a, I've got a pocket here that's got seashells on it. Um, I, It wasn't this shirt. That's not important. <laughs> there were I I was uh I was just a plain old member of Team Red the first time, and then the second time I was the engineer who had to meet up with the the bomber and fix his bomb because you have to meet up with the bomber, share your cards fully. So the, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The two things you can do are share your team, so there's 
the red team, the blue team, and the grey team. The grey team is like special rules and stuff, and it's it gets not complicated, but there are lots of people sometimes. Uh, and you can also uh, show your entire card. So the person you swap your not swap, but show your card to, you show each other, and then you know exactly what role is what. And to fix the bomb, you and the bomber have to show your whole cards to each other, and then the bomb gets fixed, and then it can explode. So that's like the prerequisite to, to winning the game. So it's a really awesome game, but mostly because in each room, the, the people elect a leader. And I think that's where the cool bit of the game comes from. So you elect one leader who decides who leaves the room. And obviously you don't get to decide who comes into your room from the other room. Um, but you choose a, a couple of people or however many it lets you to swap the hostages. So each team or each room chooses, then they swap. And then you've got to make sure you've got the right people in the right place and you figure out who everyone is and who's the president, and who's the bomber, and you have to try and manoeuvre them into the right place while the other team, who are amongst you, have to try and manoeuvre around you. And if you're the leader, you have a lot of power because I, I was the leader the first time and I was relying on the people in my team in the other room who I had no communication with or, uh, and no control over, I had to make sure that if they were like in my room, I had to give them a mission and then put sent them over there and then hope that they get sent back so they could give, give me give me the information about who's in the other room. And oh, it was so good. So on the first first round, I relied on my friend Jordan who was, you know, going around finding out who's who, whose team they were on, you know, what roles they were in and getting information from everywhere. And then I um, I made friends with a person who was the president's wife, who wins the game, no matter whether or not she blows up or the character she it was a, it was a bloke. But um, yeah, uh, how does it go? Yeah. If the wife of the president is in the same room as the president at the end of the game, then they win. But not if the president's mistress is there as well. And the same thing for the mistress. So it's like two people competing against each other with an entirely different rule set for how they win. Uh, and there are other types of cards. So I got the, the president's wife to go over to the other team, find out who the president was, come back or get themselves sent back, and then I found out exactly who was there. And fortunately, we ended up with the engineer, the bomber, doing their card swap thing. So the bomb was set, and then on the, the penultimate round, where I could only send one person over, I was like, oh no, I don't know who to send, because I was fairly sure from what I'd heard that the people in the other, or the leader of the other room was on the opposite team, and knew who was in my t in my room, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait this one turn because I really don't because you could send one person on the penultimate turn and then one person on the final turn. So I kept the bomber on my or in my room for as long as I could, and then like the final person came over, I was like, oh, I don't know who this is. So I, I and they wouldn't share their cards. So I asked the the present wife, and she's like. Or oh, he, he was like, no, don't worry, it's not the president. So all you have to do is send your bomber over to the other team and then you'll win. And it was a really, really tense moment when I, I did send my bomber over, but I wasn't 100% sure I could I could trust anyone. And like everyone was helping me out, but like there was conflicting com uh, information. And then um, it, uh, finally I sent the bomber over there and... We brought everyone together from the two rooms and they were like, did the engineer meet the bomber and repair the bomb? And they were like, yes, they did. Um, and then they figured out who was who. And finally they were like, who is the president? And it was the guy in the other room. And and for some reason, the other team just went, yay, we've won. 
uh, because clearly they thought that the bomber was on my, in my room, which it wasn't. And then, <laughs> and then from the from the back, when they asked the question, oh, okay, and who's the bomber? And from the back of that group of people who just went way came one one hand was like I'm the bomber, and then it was like boom, I win. I was so happy that my decision making won us the game. I played a. Uh, Another game after that, which we lost because I wasn't in charge. That's the real reason, honestly. But two rooms and a boom was a lot of fun. <laughs> if you can't get that from my excitement. I mean, it was more fun than the Vive because the Vive is a totally different experience. It's not a group experience in the same way. But I have enjoyed myself. I'm going back this evening to meet up with friends and uh, have, have a drink. And then I'm gonna, uh, tomorrow, start back up with the Mushroom 11 Let's Play. I'm, I'm sorry that that has just kind of stopped for the moment, but I haven't had any time. So tomorrow I will, uh, I will, if not release part of it, if I don't release part of the Mushroom 11 Let's Play tomorrow, I will definitely release... Uh, another vlog doing the Patreon thing and, and updates about the channel and all, all sorts of stuff. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, then Mushroom 11 will happen uh, over the next week and I'll try and finish that in the next week. Um, and then I'll move on to another game. I really don't know what, but we'll see. There's a ton of really interesting games coming and I'm also working on a secret project which... Um, Patreon patrons have already been formed of, so they know what's going on. You know, you know, you you're in the inner circle, so you you know what's going on with the secret project. Hopefully, if you are interested in the secret project, then you will find out about it soon. I don't. Yeah, I still need to find a name for it, but we've, we've yeah, it's gonna be cool, and I guess have an amazing evening. I hope to. And I will catch you next time. Bye!